Morena whanau. It's going to be hard to see me, but uh, we're off on a little hunt mission this morning. I'm sitting on the back, and this is what I'm looking at. So, let's go. Kite for creating space. <laughs> Two! Oh. They didn't stop with nothing. Nah. I the chuckle. Running too hard, eh? Chicken butter. Oh, good. Sweet. There are both. It's 3D already. 3D, yep. Oh, yep. Right on, fun. There we go. In cross country. Up the manga. Careful, a little nosy up there. This will burn the hinu, fun, eh? See that winter hinu that uh, that we've been gathering, that winter hinu that we've been gathering over <laughs> over the last couple of months. Time to time to melt it off. Now the wind's coming up our bump. Oh, well, we are here. It's a beautiful day, nonetheless. This is what it's about, fine, eh? Just getting out there, eh, my brother? Yep. Fresh air. This is a very special place, too. This moment. We're on the mighty east coast. Nonetheless. <laughs> A beautiful view nonetheless me and the brother just popped our heads over this little rice to come and have a nosy there's a beautiful clearing up here but um, yeah that wind they just they knew we were here 10 minutes before we even got up here and they were over here I'll show you they were bolting right over there where those, where those cliffs and stuff I saw two probably two year old stags maybe three year old pop over the top and then there was another stag popped over that little that little cut in the ridge. So the cup has been blown. Right back to the drawing board, I suppose. A beautiful view. Far out. East coast.
Är det dig? Yeah! Tjock på det! Så en dag var det inte riktigt att se något, men bara just kom över den knobben och det var två röda. Det är där du skötte den första gången. Var det bara två? Ja, det var två. Ah, ja. Så, boom. Skötte den ena, droppte den på platsen. Det är den ena över där, just i den här distansen du kan se. Jag har den här branden, så det är kul. found this big blood patch he's going down here too much too too deep down well, the has got his deer there both of his deer he will carry that one and I'll carry this bad girl out thank you divine universe for this beautiful car for your creating space Woo. they are some big girls Jeez, the old, the old skinny legs haven't had, haven't had a good blowout like this in a while. <sighs> Too much, my brother Trev. The old, looks like I wasn't meant to shoot one. Yeah, bro. Are we on? No. Show my brother. Me and the boat, Trav, Trav have been dancing all the way down this hill. <laughs> the old legs, the old skinny legs. <laughs> can still do the mahi. Just, just. Just there, eh? Yeah. So we made it to our thing, our road, eh, my bro? Yeah, bro. And then we're Let's just going to creep down, drop our deer off, and then go pick up the truck, bring back the iron horse, <laughs> and load these, this kai up on our truck. And then back to our camp. Hey, brother. Hey. Sounds good to me. A bit of a kai. Here and have some brunch. Brunch. That's where we come from too. Way up the Maunga, so a bit of a climb. Right, I'm gonna have a bit of rest. Still one, brother. Rest those skinny dancing feet. <laughs> Waiting for our mate. He's gonna go pick up our truck, our iron steed. Bit of a recap on what happened. We popped over the, a little knob and the bro saw those deer. We went to go and um, line them up and he was going to take the one on the left, I was going to take the one on the right. And I went to go and um, load around and the bolt was sticking. Something wasn't right, something wasn't right with the bolt. And that's why you always check your gear before you bring it out. It wasn't um, loading the rounds and it was just all in the moment. So I told the bro just go, just take them. So he did, he shot the first one, and I was still mucking around with the gun trying to get it to go. But uh, no good, the, the other one ran down a bit further, and then popped out on the other side, and stood there and gave him a good broadside. And he shot that deer, that would have been about, yeah, about 200, at least 200, 200 metres, so good shot shooting from the bow. And then I ended up just being the old pack horse, one of the pack horses, so... But nah, it's all for creating spaces for our community. Fano, absolutely blessed and grateful to be connected with like-minded brothers like Trev, who are on the same cope up of spreading positivity and helping with mental illness and you know, helping our Tane and our Wahine go through, who are going through things. So, um, thanks for coming along on the road, Fano. Um, I just about forgot you fellas this morning too. I was at the van looking for my phone, and I was going, nah, nah, I can't go without bringing these fellas with me. So. Got you, Fano. Um, thanks for all your support on Patreon, man. It's it's massive. I'm enjoying making these vlogs. Uh, yeah, that's enough yarning for this little clip. So see you in a bit. Quick, quick, bit of like I've been doing something. Here comes the bro. Caught snoozing. Caught snoozing. That's us, Fano. Well, I back to our camp. There's the moon in the back there. 
our kayak on the back and we're just gonna cruise back to our camp. I reckon that's our main, with the heart full of main, and our entree is kinners, koura, and yeah, kinners and koura. Can't beat it. Nah, we have any. Beautiful day, good on you, my brother. Mean day, my bro. Mean, my bro. Now we can have it's a bit. 10 o'clock. Oh, <laughs> right. Mahi done before 12. <laughs> bit of a wash, bit of a relax, nice. bit of a snackage. The tree is going to have a bit of smoke. Eh? Life on the coast, abundance in clay. <laughs> 